Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to click the subscribe button and stick around. Today I am starting off another college week in my life. I am an Alpha Phi and fashion merchandising student here at Kent State University. And today is actually day three of sorority recruitment, sisterhood round today. Next Saturday we have preference round and then on Sunday is bid day. So it's going to be a jam packed week of sorority stuff throughout this video. So hope you guys enjoy. Just got to the man. And we're about to start taking pictures. We're doing like a little run through. It's currently 8 a.m. and the first round starts at 11. Yep. But Kara's here. She was in last week's vlog a lot. And we're gonna give you our little offer of the day because I didn't have time before I left this morning. So today's theme is like all monochrome pink. So my dress is from Lulu's. Cute little open back. I don't really know how good the lighting is in here, so you probably can't see me, but my white heels are Fashion Nova. And my earrings are from Walmart. I wear them all the time. And pink masks because even though we spend every day here and she lives here, we have to wear our masks inside when we're all together. So Okay, so I don't know where my earrings are from. Probably like, I don't know. Necklace Tiffany, all my pins. This is Lauren's. I have no idea where it's from. These are <laughs> misguided. And these are Logan's. And I don't know where they're from. Oh, wow, that was very helpful, guys. Sorry. Right. <laughs> we're going to go take pictures and I'll insert some of them here. So that you guys can see. Everyone's outside taking pictures in the gazebo. Looks like one big pink fest out there. Allie's Whoa. eating her sandwich with her with her mask on. <laughs> Mia's here. Hi Queen. Hey you too. I love her outfit. Where are these pants from? Zara. What about your shoes? Um, Sam Edwin? I wanna go. So, yeah. Circus by Sam Top Edwin. Princess Polly. Top is Allie McNulty. Uh. Where's it from, Al? Glass on. Glass on. Oh, cute. Okay, hello. This is Nasty Girl, and then I have a skirt underneath it, which is from Sheen. And then... Shoes? I have no idea. Dillard's, I think. Pray for our feet, because no one's feeling good so far. Yeah, and... No, I'm a big are you so excited? What are you most excited for today? I'm most excited to... Wait, I want to say what I'm most excited for. The I don't know what I'm most excited for. Look at the scratches. I'm most excited to meet the most beautiful PMs I've ever seen in my life. I'm excited to see my little. Yeah, you might meet your little today. Maybe. That's when Allie met me. I might meet mine. Too. What are you most excited for? Um, maybe I'll meet a little because I'm a senior and I don't have one. <laughs> well, maybe. Most excited um, for my senior year recruitment and to make the best of it because it's my last year. Yeah. This is Woo! Cheers to that, baby. Nice. That so We're done with sisterhood round. Ooh. Hours later, I think it's seven o'clock right now. Literally. We've all changed into sweats and leggings. And me and the Alpha Phi squad are rolling out to Barrio because Ooh. it's the only thing that's the cheap. Only place we always go it's, to. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be good. I'm literally so hungry. Obviously so. we don't like change. How was your sisterhood day? Sisterhood Mine was day. good. Okay. You'll be amazing. But it was really fun though. I love them all. They we'll were all be so nice. Back. Mine were so sweet. Back for preference. Um <laughs> back for preference on Saturday. So that'll be a part of this vlog and then I'll vlog bid day separately. <laughs> hey besties. What's up, Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia just told the story about how almost a year ago she almost ran me over because she didn't let the pedestrian have the right way. First time with Annie last week and it was so good, so we're trying it again. Here's in the bathroom. What'd you get? Pineapple? I got uh, um, pineapple, salsa, and the corn. And this is my first time with the bowl. Did you get meat? Chicken? Yeah, I got chicken. So you got the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not good at this No. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> they're nice. <laughs> Sorry. They're new to this, guys. Sorry, she got it. She got it. She got it. She got it. Hey Barrio attend tonight, but also I literally ate so much that I feel like I'm gonna puke. So we are so stuffed. <sighs> okay, what would you give it? I always give a ten. Solid ten. Solid place. Those boys right there keep staring at me, so I hope they saw me just point at them. I couldn't look worse if I tried. I am so physically exhausted, it's not even funny, and I really wish I had another day of weekend, but we just simply don't, so. Um, 
Oh well, just got up today's blog post and YouTube video. I always get a weekly wrap up up on Sundays and my college week in my life. And as much as I just wanted to go to bed and deal with it in the morning, I really want to stick to my schedule and like be good and no procrastinating. So if you guys are curious to see my week in my life, you guys want links to outfits, things like that, make sure you check out my weekly wrap ups. I post them every single Sunday. And my YouTube video is live, which means now that it is 1046, I literally have never been so excited to go to bed in my life. See you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. Gonna start this week off on a good note. My goal is to move my body a little bit every day. It is supposed to rain this week, so I don't know how well that's gonna go, but I just wanna get outside, really enjoy the weather. And I started doing this a little bit last week again, and it like reminded me how good it feels to work out in the morning. So I'm not going to the gym because you do have to wear a mask there, but I think I'm just gonna go for a walk. Here's what I'm wearing today. My little two-piece set is from Ellie Activewear. I really, really like it. The bottoms are like kind of like a mix between jogger and legging. They're really tight, but like they kind of have jogger vibes up top in the waistband and in the pockets. I don't know, but it's really cute, really flattering set. And then my sneakers are just my Adidas ZX Boost. I'll leave all these outfits linked in my weekly wrap up, so make sure you're following me there. I just edited a Princess Polly haul in bed as well. Um, and I'm gonna process that to YouTube while we go. Okay, Krista is my morning walk partner today. Everyone else has class, just the two of us. But it's taken us 33 minutes to walk two miles, so take with that information what you will. <laughs> Okay, Krista and I's next adventure of the day was Target because I have a collaboration with them, another one, and I needed to pick up some clothes from the Wild Fable line. They have us go in store and get the stuff ourselves. So I just picked out some cute stuff. Sorry, I'm swinging it up. Oh, and Lauren's birthday is tomorrow. So, so we got her a birthday gift. Bunch of random things. We're gonna do like a big basket and we're gonna go Ice buy- Icebreakers, um, picture frame. We're gonna have Liv buy some alcohol so that we can add a little filler in there. Yeah. Cause she's turning the big 20. Okay, off to the grocery store now. Um, we're gonna go to Aldi cause it's always cheaper. And fast. And we we literally have no groceries. Like when I say that, it's like not an exact. It's kind of embarrassing. Um, so we came up with a menu for the week. We're gonna do lemon chicken and rice tonight. And then tomorrow we're doing um, Chipotle shrimp rice bowls and then on Wednesday we're gonna do cheeseburgers and tater tots yes. Thursday we're gonna do shrimp tacos and Friday we're gonna do this like pesto mozzarella mac and cheese in mm. the crock pot um, Some of them are like meals that my mom makes some of them are new, but yeah, We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna attempt. We're gonna attempt like a full week of eating at home. Family eating at home and see how it goes Citro, Lime shrimp jalapenos Rolls, cheese slices, tater tots, mango, mozzarella. We didn't get mozzarella. I did. Oh. Okay. Pesto. Yep. This is gonna be a hefty Chicken grocery. Chicken bacon, yep. bagels, yep. barbecue sauce. I didn't get it, I, I decided. Hash browns, we already have those. Cilantro, lime, avocado, red pepper. We are. We already passed that meal. Ice Chipotle. cream. Yeah, okay, we, we got, got it. it all. Let's Yay. go see how much this is gonna be. <laughs> Alright, now I have to put all my stuff in there. <laughs> Krista? I'm going to carry some of it then. Because that's just not going to happen. This is the only bag I had, guys. I forgot my Aldi bag. We are home from Aldi. It's $45 later. Krista bought some stuff too. I don't know how much she spent, but here's a grocery haul. We got white rice. Krista got bananas. We got buns for our hamburgers. We got strawberries, a new thing of mixed tropical fruit for smoothies, two things of bacon, I'll end up freezing like one and a half of them and leaving the other one out. I really needed ice cream sandwiches because they are so good from Aldi. Two mangoes, cilantro, big thing of limes, big thing of lemons, big thing of avocados because we need all those for meals this week. 
I got two things of shrimp. Usually I get the kind that are already peeled, but they didn't have them, so today I just got unpeeled. We got more tortillas, because we go through them like crazy. Cheddar cheese, because we also go through that a ton. Two cans of corn to have on hand. Fresh mozzarella. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like all these jalapenos just fell out of the bag. Like everything just fell out. Okay, mozzarella's, some floor jalapenos. Um, well, nothing broke. Um, we got blueberry bagels, chipotle peppers, pesto. Um, tater tots, milk chocolate, cream cheese. We got chicken tenders and sour cream so basically every single thing that you can need we got it today um and Krista went to the store the other day and got toast and eggs and then Olivia had gone and got two things of chicken and hash browns so combine that combine that we got everything we needed <laughs> Lauren doesn't go to the grocery store I don't. You guys just took some time to get ready and dressed for the day I feel so much better I had a good productive start to the morning I typically use Mondays as kind of like a transition from weekend to school mode so I'm glad that I was able to go grocery shopping that I got the stuff from Target I'm actually gonna show you guys everything in just a minute but first here's my outfit I tried to look a little more polished today because I'm actually in about 45 minutes headed over to the fashion school to speak to a first year experience class all freshmen are required to take FIE and basically they just kind of help you get adjusted into Ken answer your questions learn more about whatever your major is so each year like when I took first year experience they had someone an industry professional come in where freshmen were able to ask questions and kind of get an idea of a possible career opportunity so I was asked to come and speak so I'm a little nervous but I'm excited I've done a couple of not for first year experience but I do a lot of this type of thing around on campus so I am excited still a little nervous but um, I want to look a little more polished so I've got on a black body contour bodysuit from Express my cropped flare jeans are from Express and then I've just got on little black mules from Target that I've had forever I put my hair up in a low bun just because it's super greasy so oh well and then I've got on hoops from Shein and my usual gold jewelry I might add a belt I don't know yet I just wanted to look a little more basic in the sense where I didn't want to wear anything super crazy but anyways okay here is the clothing that I got from Target I have to put together five different looks featuring these items over on my Instagram so this is gonna be an upcoming partnership this is with Wild Fable I got these black shorts and they're so stinking soft and I just got this black v-neck to go with it's cropped and fitted I have this in white and I really like it you guys know I love basics like that I also picked up this black dress I thought that this could be really cute for 21st birthday I've been getting a lot of homecoming slash 21st outfit requests so I really like this and then I got this dress that has like a sheer lining under over top of like a solid black cami dress. It's really cool, very trendy, little zebra moment. This is like the black slip that goes underneath. Then I got a pair of jeans from them. These actually fit me really beautifully. They are the highest rise mom jean, just two slits along the knees. I got a chunky sweater to go with one. I'll probably wear this with boots. And then I also just got a solid white. This is like a really soft material and I really like it. It's just like oversized, cutesy. Um, so I'm going to put together all of those outfits. And then the candle that I got is Harvest Festival. It smells super good. This is actually where I wanted to put it. I was telling you guys, I feel like this corner needs something. Um, I have like a bouquet of flowers here that my big Allie and her boyfriend got me. And they would like stayed alive for like two weeks but I just am not in the mood to like buy myself flowers all the time so I figured that a candle would look cute there you know because I set up my camera like right here for try-ons and I kind of felt like it needed a little something so I guess I could leave it undone too obviously I'll have it burning I gotta put my lotion back in my bathroom but yeah all right I want to eat something before I head out to this class so let's go cook up use some of the groceries we just got. Hey, okay, I'm making bacon and eggs. Well, I'm gonna do a bagel sandwich today now that we have um, blueberry bagels, but I'm gonna do two eggs. Actually, I'm only gonna do one egg. Well, I'm gonna do two eggs. Eh. Do two. This is my lunch, we'll do two. It's hard, bagel sandwiches are easier when you make them for two people. But anyways, 
I can take you if you want me to, so. Okay, I'm back on my bagel sandwich grind. The key to the perfect bagel sandwich is blueberry bagel with cream cheese. Thank me later. I know it sounds weird, but I promise you it's so good. Okay, bagel sandwich gets a 10. It was really good today. Um, I added a belt to my outfit. Just grabbed my purse, it doesn't match, but oh well. Um, and Chris is driving me over to the fashion school. Yeah. Hi, fashion school. It's been a while. Okay guys, I just got out of my panel. I spoke for like an hour and a half and it was so good. And I just met like a hundred different subscribers, which is really exciting. So anyways, I'm walking home now um, because Krista drove me here, but I told her that she didn't need to pick me up. Quick little walk home. But seriously, like doing things like this reminds me why I came to Kent in the first place. And I just had so many girls like walk up to me and be like, you are literally the reason why I came to Kent or why I chose to study fashion and that is the most flattering compliment in the world like go where you go to college sets up your career path which could set up who you marry which could set up you know like all these other huge life-changing things and the fact that like I can play a role in that to someone else's life oh my god it just means so much so if you are watching this video and you go to Kent and you are a freshman and you met me today, please comment down below because I want to like follow you guys and connect with you. But also B, if you didn't meet me today but you toured Kent or you chose Kent or you considered fashion merchandising at any school because of me, please also comment that because I want to just say a huge thank you and just know who you are, like it means so much. So I also just agreed to come back and do this again on Wednesday. I had a lot of professors come up to me afterwards and say I did an awesome job and they really wanted me to come back on Wednesday. It was just me and one other guy. There were supposed to be four people but it ended up just being both of us. So I'm gonna go and help out in Wednesday's class. Yay! But anyways, let's go home. I believe, I don't even know what time it is. 2.17. <laughs> Chris the check. Text my check. Okay, we actually did just marinate the chicken for tonight um, dinner, and now I was letting my camera charge. I filmed the try on as soon as I got home for a Fashion Nova haul, and I am about to sit down and film the sit down portion. Alexa, stop. Let's hook you up to my tripod and get moving. This is gonna be my last like little filming bit of the day. Then we're gonna move into something else. It's already four, but I, feel, I still feel like I've had a really productive day, so I'm happy. Okay, let's put you down. Okay, here we go. Okay, I finished filming, and I cleaned my closet a little bit. It's already, like, stuffed to the brim, and it's been like this since, honestly, for a couple of weeks now. This is it. Super clean. And it's really, it really looks like a mess still. And it's because I, like, don't have a shoe system here. Like, all I really have is this... Um, like a little shoe rack and it doesn't really fit anything because I get so many shoes and I've kind of just been letting everything pile up because I don't really know what else to do with it like my closet is such an odd shape it's like very very hard I have it stuffed to the brim and I already have shoes hanging from the store so if anyone has an idea I can't put shoes under my bed because my bed is full like underneath is full of filming equipment and um, containers, my luggage, and all that stuff's underneath my bed. A couple of people commented to put something here, but I don't really know. Like, I, I kind of like like how clean it looks in here. I don't know. Just kind of a random system. I do have a box of clothes there that are express stuff I have to film with later, and I'm about to bring this dress out to my car just because I'm going to shove it in the back of my car, drive around with it, but for the most part, my room is looking nice and tidy. Switching gears, and we're starting to cook dinner. I will leave the recipe for this lemon chicken down below. I've had it marinating for a while. I just did roasted potatoes. We're gonna eat this over rice and then Liv got Texas toast too because we're gonna eat that all together. Here is dinner complete. Toast is out, potatoes are out. We just have to plate it all up. Okay, everybody, dinner's ready. I knew they weren't gonna be home. I knew. Well, they put the bread in? Yeah. I got it all, Liv, don't worry. 
Oh, shoot. You're supposed to put, like, parsley on the rice. I forgot about it. Just, you know, if you want it, throw it on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I hope this chicken's done. It looks done, but, like, it, I don't know. Yeah, I'll let you be the judge first. <laughs> I give dinner an 8 out of 10. I'm going outside to sit with my roommates on our cute little balcony. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It's going to be a very full day around here. Um, Tuesdays are always my busiest day. Tuesday's also, like, my least favorite day of the week because just, you know. But anyways, okay, I have an online class this morning, and then I have to walk over to the fashion school. I have an in-person class, and then I have, like, a weird, awkward two-ish, three-ish hour break. Um where I'm going to sit down and complete like a ton of other schoolwork for the week because I like to get a majority of my work done Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I have another in-person class from like, I don't know, 3.30 to 5.15 or something like that. So I'm going to be at the fashion school pretty much all day, which stinks because today is my roommate Lauren's birthday. It's crazy that this is our third birthday, like celebrating her together. Um, she was my freshman year sweet meet, so... Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. We also have like an anti-hazing meeting today. All Greek life has it it's this evening. So I'm going to be going to that. But it's dreary and kind of rainy out and yucky. So I'm just going to make the most of staying inside all day and really cranking out the work. So getting ready right now. Um, I'm taking it kind of easy as far as getting ready goes because it's raining and I have to walk to class. I think I'm just going to throw my hair up in a claw clip even though I washed it last night. And as for my makeup, I'm just going in with the e.l.f. CC cream. I love the e.l.f. Camo CC cream so much. It's really good, very comparable to the It Cosmetics if you've used that. And I'm just using this because I have to wear a mask all day when I sit in there. So like it feels kind of pointless to do a full blown makeup routine. I usually just do this, add some powder, lashes, mascara, I mean eyebrows and call it a day. So yeah, about to turn on some YouTube. The only time that I really ever watch YouTube or TV is when I get ready in the morning at like 15, 20 minutes. I think I'll probably watch a Brooke Michio today because um, I'm a little behind on her vlogs. And I really love her. outfit of the day before class i've got on a flannel from shein and then this top is from express breaking out the skinny jeans today these are also from express i know a lot of people don't like skinny jeans anymore but i feel like they're the only jeans that really look acceptable when you're wearing like rain boots of any type um these are from dolce vita they're super super cute a little bit easier to walk in like i know some rain boots like my hunters can be like super hard to walk in when I'm going to class and stuff like that. So um, I like the shorter style. My necklaces are from Ana Luisa. Rings are Ana Luisa. Bracelets are Ana Luisa. I don't have earrings in yet just because my ears have been really bothering me from wearing clip-ons so much. And my claw clip is from Shein. Hair doesn't look that cute, but like, look, it's just like so rainy and gross out. And it's supposed to be like that all day that I figured kind of what's the point. But anyways, it is 9.15, which means it's time for me to log into my first class of the day, professional seminar. It's a great experience. You should fly too, Chloe. You think?
taking us to class. Please don't show me right driving now. Driving us. <laughs> I'm not. It's just me. We'll show you Lauren when she looks like a beautiful birthday princess well, I don't later. <laughs> Except you might not even, like by the time I get home, you might be gone already. Live out and stop by, go to class check. Fashion school. It's raining, my camera's getting wet, but this camera is so messed up anyways that it's okay. Oh, gotta put my mask on. My dumb ass didn't check Blackboard this morning and apparently class was canceled. So now I just have to sit here until 3.45. school I just grabbed a table and I'm gonna sit here for the rest of the day um, until my next class because I figured I'll get more done here so the very first thing that I do every single Tuesday is I go through all my syllabi and I write down like literally every assignment quiz exam all the assignments and things that need to be done that week and I put it in like a little notes thing like this to-do list form so this is everything that I have to do this week for all my classes I'm in five classes, 16 credit hours, I think maybe 15. Um, but I just got some of my professional seminar work done. I had to fine tune my resume and then I had to do my two journal entries. So I talked a little bit about hitting 30,000 subscribers a year ago yesterday and submitted that. And now I am going to switch gears and I'm going to work on my planning and buying work since that was the class that was canceled. Okay, I've been up here for hours now. It's already 3.30. I'm about to pack up and head downstairs to my product development class, but I've just been working on a bunch of different things for my planning and buying class. We had a different Excel sheet. We had a couple of different quizzes to take and a discussion board post, and a lot of that was pretty hard for me. I'm kind of struggling in that class, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's still of an A, but it's one that I have to work really hard for and it takes me so long to like actually grasp the concept in that class. So I did that and I have been working on fashion forecasting since. I've been taking notes on the movement of the fashion cycle and trickle down versus trickle across, which is kind of how like fast fashion and just different trends emerge and evolve and how sometimes it has to do more with celebrities and like people of wealth than it does necessarily the retailer. Um, learned about that, still taking notes. Off to class I go. All right, we're working on a competitive analysis chart in this class. My brand is Express, so I just spent some time researching different styles and comparing different prices, fits, sizing, and all that kind of information to other brands that are competitors. Here's our birthday girl. Oh, hello. I just walked home. Oh yeah, because you went to go oh, take a video happy earlier. Happy 21st, baby. She went She's to go take a video earlier and I would not allow her to put me in it. Have fun at home. Oh, I'll have the Have fun time. at the home bars. I'm digging this little mini grill, everybody. It's kind of cool. We'll have to use it more. Okay, there's my finished dinner. Cheeseburger and tater tots. I hope it's good. I'm honestly kind of nervous. Tonight we have a sorority anti-hazing event. All sports, all Greek life is here right now. And it's in the Mac. So. All right guys, I've been a little MIA this evening in the vlog and it's because I filmed a nighttime routine like separately just because I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So I will incorporate a little montage so you can see my night, but I am headed to bed. Rise and shine everybody. It's a rainy Wednesday morning. No one else is awake or has come out of their room yet, but oh well, the apartment's a mess as per usual. But I need to switch my laundry. I've been trying to do my laundry like midweek. Um, I typically like to do my laundry like the ideal day for me would be on Sunday. 
but it's kind of hard like once you get off of that usual like routine it's hard to get back on it so i've been needing to do it midweek since i'm out of underwear and stuff So while my laundry was going, I just sat down and wrote today's blog post. I've actually never done a blog post like just foodie specific. Honestly, it seems silly when my name is literally styled by McKenz, but um, when I come home from a city, I typically share a travel guide that's like chock full of where I stayed, things to do, things to pack, where I ate, but um, I didn't really take any photos of the hotel. We didn't have the chance to do anything touristy because we were going to all these shows, but I still had so many food pics and a lot of recommendations and so many of you guys asked me to share them. So I just shared like seven restaurants that we went to some photos i shared um, a link to their menu a link to the directions to the place and then what i would give it out of 10. and i actually had a lot of fun making this i did a little pinterest graphic so that you guys could save this for later and then i also just went on my instagram and i did a little roundup on there as well I've actually had a lot of luck with this kind of Instagram post because I just tell you guys to save it. It's really good for engagement and then you can refer back to these if you're in New York City looking for a place to eat. So I had a lot of fun doing this and I wasn't expecting to. Lately, blog post writing has felt kind of tedious and I don't want it to get like that. I don't want to get to that point of burnout. So I've been having a lot of fun just kind of switching it up. So. That's exciting, it's about 10.30 now and I can happily check this stuff off of my to-do list. I do have a pretty lengthy to-do list today, so um, here she is. I wrote the restaurant's blog post. My Princess Polly haul is scheduled to go live. I posted the Instagram photo linked to my Instagram stories. As you can see, I've got a good chunk of schoolwork to do today and I am also doing another speaking at one, so. I really kind of wanted to go on a walk this morning. Um, it's a little rainy, but like, I feel a little guilty. So, but I don't know, like, does anyone else's brain work like this? Like, I have to be there at one, which means that it's 10.30 now, and like, I already feel behind. Like, does anyone else do that? Because I do. So I think I'm just gonna get ready. We're gonna see what time it is, slash where I'm at um, after. And I'll decide from there if I'm gonna do any physical activity, but. Okay, well, um, I'm like incapable of going on a walk on my own because it feels awkward and people look at me. Um, and Krista wasn't home yet, so Did I. Did you know? No, oh, I, so I didn't go on a walk because I didn't want to go on my own. Instead, I made a bagel sandwich and because, what else would I eat? Today I only did one egg though. Because we have chicken and rice, and I might want to eat lunch. Here we go. <laughs> All right, after I ate breakfast, I went ahead and prepped for tonight's dinner. I took out a bunch of shrimp last night and marinated them. This is about um, probably two-thirds of a pound, like 25-ish shrimp. Um, I think it's just going to be chips. four of us eating here tonight. Yeah, that's like six each. When, yeah. you, when you put it that way, it doesn't sound like that much. Yeah. Um, but Allie's coming over for dinner tonight, and I'm making chipotle shrimp bowls. So basically, it's going to be cilantro, lime, rice. You put the shrimp on top, um, corn, beans, and then I made this avocado crema. I love this stuff. My mom makes it a lot. Like, every time we have anything really shrimp-related at home, it's really good on quesadillas and stuff. I'll leave the recipe for both of these links down below. You can also put cheese and mango and, like, kind of do whatever you want with your bowl. Um... We'll get into that tonight, but I just wanted to start prepping that way tonight. I don't have any lunch to do. My laundry is also done, so I'm going to take that out and I'm going to fold it right away. If I don't fold my laundry right away, it gives me so much anxiety to see it sit there. So I'm just going to get it over it. And then I'm going to get dressed and ready for my meeting because somehow it's already almost one. Oh boy, I got to fold my laundry. I'm so hardworking. Maybe I'm a gangster too, and it's a suit say. 
I washed all the kitchen towels too. You'll come home soon. And I can't wait. I just got dressed and popped a few curls in my hair for today's little speaking thing. I am wearing a black midi dress from Fashion Nova. I really love this one. It's like a sweater material and since it's a little bit colder out today, I figured this was perfect. Very flattering. It is a bodycon, but I feel like this is like a very um, professional bodycon. It's not super low or anything and I wanted something that I could sit on stage and cross my legs in without like having... Um, my whole hoo-ha exposed so um my cute little nude slides are from chinese laundry and then i've got on my butterfly earrings from shein put a few curls in my hair so it didn't look as crazy and i am off to the fashion school round two okay okay just started to rain but another day at the fashion school let's go speak to little freshies okay besties i am home good little panel talk um i think mondays was more fun the crowd was just like much more lively entertained they had more questions but it was still good i spoke with another student named zara and she was super cool very insightful so i stayed after again today and talked to a bunch of subscribers met a lot of you guys so thank you if you said hey just came home i put on my slippers and grabbed a blanket it's like freezing in here and it just started like torrential downpouring um it actually said that we're in a tornado warning right now so that's really good um but anyways i am about to knock out a good chunk of homework it's about three o'clock my goal is to do homework until five and just really get through all of my fashion forecasting. I have some notes to take. I have a couple of slides to add to my project. Um, I have a quiz to take, and then I have an Excel assignment for my computer apps class. So I started taking some notes this morning, got through a little bit, but we are going to just keep, keep at it, keep cranking it out. These were, without a doubt, two of the most interesting PowerPoints I think I've ever taken notes on throughout my fashion merchandising career here at Kent, talking about the different theories, how trends evolve, and then the silhouettes of the 20th century. Basically, we talk about how all these different designs change over the years. So if you look at this picture right here, once I scroll all the way back up, you can see how the different silhouettes change throughout each decade. And we talk about why and how they evolve and how basically every trend comes back, what goes around comes around throughout all the decades and how even we're seeing now in 2020 things that were stylish in 2000, which are really just trends that are derived from the 1900s, which is so stinging cool. So really, really liked today's forecasting stuff. 
took my forecasting quiz and then worked on assignment three. So you guys know each week we have a couple of more slides to do for this final project. So this week we talked about environmental scanning and I conducted a consumer interview and then just basically based off of the things that I took notes on, um, I applied real world, found some articles, kind of wrapped all that in. And then I also went and submitted my final cover letter for my professional seminar class. So all done with this stuff for now. I haven't done any of my computer apps for the week. I usually do this class last, um, but it's about 5.10 right now and I wanna get started on dinner because I'm hungry and just craving food, so. We'll get back to this either t later tonight. Probably not. Probably tomorrow if I'm being real. I'm like, well, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I'm still trying to bring my birthday battery. <laughs> okay. Just everything mashed together. I hope this is good. I'm a little nervy about the shrimp. I guess I should just taste it for you right here. Yeah. I'm gonna mix it with a bite of rice and beans and corn so I can give you my honest thoughts. Shrimp is fire. I'm just gonna bring these chips over. They're good. What? Oh, they're, yeah, they, they got a kick to it. Do you they're like good. spicy? Yeah, I do. Okay, dinner. I'm gonna give it an eight. I was gonna give it an eight. Maybe eight and a half. I wish that it had something sweet like to balance it out. Like you were supposed to have a red pepper or a mango with it and I really think either would have made it taste better but it was still good. It was a little spicy for everyone else I think. But anyways, okay. Allie and I just chatted but she has to go to CVS and I really need to buy a teasing comb. I've been meaning to do it for weeks now so. I'm heading with her there. I couldn't remember like what else I needed from CVS. I've been telling myself for weeks to go. And the only thing I could remember to get was the teasing comb. So I got this cute one from GSQ. I love their texturizing spray, so pretty. I've been having a mental breakdown over the mean comments on my video. Anyways, we're watching Hotel for Dogs in Krista's room. A lot of you guys ever. have asked for a um apartment tour and we just haven't gotten around to it because our apartment's not clean. Oh my god. But, and I kind of forgot about it, but like maybe next week. But here's Chris's room. Yeah. Hotel for dogs. We're getting to the good part. Yeah, this is a really good it's part. It's the best part. Brian is leading the pack. <laughs> Brian is leading the pack. It's towards oh the end. Oh my god. This is Lauren's favorite movie. Not actually. It's my one of my favorites, favorites actually. Ratatouille. We still watch that. I, I wanted to watch this last night, but we watched Lizzie McGuire instead. We're just actually relaxing for a change. Is it somebody trying to relax? Yes, yeah, someone asked if I could show <laughs> more relax. of me relaxing. Well, guess what? I don't relax I ever. When I relax, I go to bed. When I relax and do nothing is when I'm asleep. So. We also just ate a whole bag of Haribo gummy bears, so our teeth are probably gonna fall out. Ignore my disastrous room behind me. I haven't made my bed yet, but I'm just trying to get dressed and plan an outfit before going to class. And it's like 50 degrees out today, it's freezing. So I think I'm gonna pull out my first sweater. This is from Romwe, my jeans are from Express, and then I think these are the boots I'm gonna wear with it. I have an online class first to attend. Um, I have professional seminar on Thursday mornings, as you guys know. And I'm about to call into that in like literally two or three minutes. And then after that, I am going to work on my computer apps homework slash exam for like an hour and a half, I think, because Olivia has another class. And then after that, her and I are driving two hours to Columbus because I have a partnership with the Tanger Outlets and the closest Tanger is in Columbus. But Olivia's boyfriend goes to school in Columbus. So it kind of works out because we're going to go shopping and then we're going to meet him for like a late lunch slash dinner and just kind of make a day out of it. Um, and since she's so familiar with driving there, she was like super um, nice and offered to drive. Um, so gonna be a fun little casual afternoon of shopping after today. I should be done with all of my homework and schoolwork for the week anyways. You guys know me, I really try to grind on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday that way 
on the weekends i don't really have too much to do but i'm excited but first i need to like not look like this because i look terrible okay i'm ready and i made myself a piece of cinnamon sugar toast and strawberries for breakfast today no bagel sandwich same thing so i'll click my watch vendor up at the top and then i'm going to add a filter so we'll already there Okay, just finished up my fifth Excel assignment for computer apps. I really like going into the semester thought that I would struggle more with computer apps than planning and buying, but I'm having a harder time in planning and buying, I think. And I think that's because you typically are supposed to take computer apps before planning and buying. It's not a prereq, but like most people do it that way. And I didn't. The way that graduating early worked with my schedule was just that I had to take them at the same time. So I don't have too much excel experience but today we played around with different formatting and we used the sort and filter tool and then once i was done with that we had an exam obviously i'm not going to show you the exam but basically we um, downloaded and another excel file and all of the things that we've learned slash practiced within the first five assignments we had to apply throughout um, the exam and then we just saved that and submitted that that i actually think went super well you were able to use all of your old workbooks and all of our notes and stuff so it was like essentially an open note kind of thing and basically just an assignment that we were able to complete but it was 100 points so I submitted that it's 11:45 right now and I have some time to kill before Olivia um, is done with her class and we head out so I am going to get finishing editing this little night routine that I filmed earlier this week Okay, finished editing and I am letting this process to YouTube. Hopefully this will be done um, pretty soon. My goal is to get this sent over because this is a sponsored video. I do have to get it approved, but oh well. Just put shoes on, grabbed my purse, and here is my finished outfit for today. Super cute. I really like these boots with it. They're really comfortable. They're from Chinese Laundry, but they're from Lulu's, so cute you guys know i love chinese laundry and then since it's so cold out today i think i'm gonna just bring this jacket from lulu's it's literally like the only jacket i have here oh the tag's still on it um it's literally the only piece that i have here so Liv, give us your alpha details um white crop top from paxson jeans are target shoes dan smith jacket thingy is loft and my nuts are from Trader Joe's. <laughs> okay, an hour and 45 minutes later, we've made it to Columbus. <laughs> um, we're at the Tanger Outlets, as you guys know, and we're gonna head to Shopper Services first After to the get bathroom. the little book. After Olivia goes to the bathroom to get the little booklet and our $10 gift card. If you mention my name, Mackenzie, and show them the Instagram post that I'll leave linked down below, at any Tanger location, you get a free $10 and a free coupon book, so yay. We had to stop in the Converse store and I have been looking for this style Converse everywhere with like the really thick chunky soles. They're just not on sale today and I already have yellow ones but they have a lot of cool pairs here. Okay, I went and spent all of my $250 gift card at and Just the, Express and Just Airy. We've been to three stores, I think. Yeah, and Old Navy had literally nothing. A lot of people asked for business casual and comfy clothes, so I got comfy clothes at Airy, and I got business cash at Express Factory, and the best part is that Olivia will be able to wear all of them to her yes. internship on um, Mondays and Wednesdays. <laughs> so They're getting put to use, don't yep. worry. Um, hopefully I'll be able we'll to- We'll do like, a double try on haul. Double both of us. All right, I will do a proper haul when we get home. But American doors. Eagle and Express stuff. And then Liv also has a shirt here in this bag. And then she just got a pair of joggers and another shirt from Loft. So you had a successful day as well. Yeah, and I wasn't really planning on spending a ton of money. So I'm for what I picked out, it's fine with me. Yeah, so 
Um, I only went $15 over, which is good. We're actually on our way to meet Liv's boyfriend for dinner because he goes to Ohio State, so he lives pretty dinner close. It's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock, but... Um, <laughs> Ronnie picked Mackenzie River. I think he has a crush on me. <laughs> censored, censored. And just act like he's like super famous. We have a super famous person with us, so we can't show him, but. <laughs> okay, tell us what you got, Liv. Apple chicken flatbread. It looks good. We had the cheese curds and they were good. And we also had the like little pretzel rods and I got the spicy chicken sandwich. Too famous. And our super famous boy got the chicken Caesar salad. Okay, dinner rating. I think I'm gonna give it a seven because I wasn't in love with the cheese of the pretzel that we got. But I thought the cheese curds were good. I thought my sandwich was very good. The bun on it was like really delicious. Yeah. And the, um, the buns can just make it makes such a difference. Yes. And my french fries were like just the right amount of crispiness, but it wasn't like the best thing I've ever had, but what about you? Oh. You think I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, but I, I don't think I would give it that bad. I think we got a hitchhiker oh, here. He looks like a little lad. <laughs> Comment if you're on berries and cream talk. Um, I'd probably say 5. Okay. It had potential, but I forgot I don't like Barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. I'm excited to try. I should have tried it there, like when it was like fresh. Yeah. But I just felt oh really my gosh, cold. Where am I going? But appetizers were 50 percent off. We can't miss our exit because we have a two-hour drive home. But bye. Right. No, See you at home for karaoke, day, besties. It's 7:45 now. You look so funny on. And we just drove home. Well, Liv drove. Whatever. And we're gonna give Krista. Y2K. Uh -huh. This is like definitely Y2K vibes. Like I feel yeah, like. It is. Experience. With the pockets. Okay, I'm actually guys going to do. Here's Liv's they, like, pants from like velvet, but they feel velvety. No. Yeah. They're the softest pants. They're from Lemon Gray. I'm gonna see through what you bend over. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do yeah. like a full try on haul, no, like a separate too. collective yeah. one of stuff from Airy and Express and a couple other like smaller places because a lot of you guys have been asking for these kind of things. But I'm gonna give Krista a quick rundown of everything I got. Okay, get excited. Okay, first things first, I got this gray hoodie. Is that for Mary? Yes. I have that in a different color. I love it. It was Cute. so cheap. Okay, then I got this hoodie. These yeah. ones were 60% off. A steal. Okay, then I got the same shirt in two colors. I got it in orange. Pumpkin patch vibes. Then I got it in white. Then I got this blue one that's not red, it's just blue. Yeah. And then I got another white one. Here's Liv's. This is for Liv. <laughs> just in my bag. And then I got this, this orange bralette because it was really cute. Yeah. I had a $10 off, but those shirts were like $9, like 30 cents, so I just had Then I went to Express, and I got this suede skirt. That's cute. This is casual vibes from Express because that's what people have been asking. Like, oh, what am I trying to do? Okay, this. Cute. Little, you know, flat on it. I really like this. Like, I wasn't excited to like it, but it looks oh, really super good. Cute. Cute. It looks so good with that's these super, pants. That's cute. That's cute. If people want a business casual. Um, and then I got this cardigan that was in Liv's reject pile. It was 15 bucks. Well, that's I don't $15. That's what I got. That's what I got, guys. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Friday morning. I woke up right and early this morning, literally at 7 a.m. and have been getting a lot of emails and DMs and comments responded to. Um, I took a shower and washed my hair, which felt super good just to be nice and clean. And I just had a couple of different calls with various hotels in the Cleveland slash Ken area because I am trying to put together a travel guide for Cleveland. So that was super exciting. Um, Calls went well and I got today's video scheduled on YouTube and I got another video like prepped and ready to go. 
Um, so it's gonna be a busy day. I just wanna go on a walk real quick. Krista and I are about to go. I've got on a cute little top from Aerie, and then these joggers are like my all time favorite joggers ever from Old Navy. And my sneakers are from Adidas. I will leave all of my workout outfits and everyday outfits linked down below so that you guys can shop. But gonna go for a walk. I've got lunch plans with friends. Um, I've got a photo shoot for later this afternoon. Wanna get a blog post up, gotta get a YouTube video up. Gonna be like a busy style by day. Um, and then later tonight, we have to go to preference round practice. So pretty campus in front of my favorite building. In front of your favorite person. In front of my favorite person. <laughs> Getting those steps in. We just walked up a mountain. We did. It's kind of embarrassing though. This How long have home. we gone, Krista? 0.89 in 14 minutes. Oh my God. <sighs> embarrassing. <laughs> Krista and I walked like 2.75 miles today, which was good for us. Um, and it was real, it's so beautiful out. Um, I came home and had about an hour, so I curled my hair and I just filmed a little try on session featuring the airy and express things that I picked up at the outlet yesterday. I like to do like a try on session on my Instagram stories and then I'll share like a still photo with swipe up links to everything so that you guys can easily shop. And I also like part of that sponsorship slash campaign is to film a TikTok. So I did go ahead and film a TikTok as well. I'm not gonna obviously show this all to you because I want you guys to be excited when you see it. Um, but that stuff is good to go. And then I just got dressed for the day because I am about to go meet a couple friends for lunch downtown. Um, I'm wearing something from Princess Polly because I have to take a photo for them today part of my collaboration with them. And I really, really love these shorts. I've had these shorts since June and I wear them all the time. I get so many questions on them. They're a little bit longer. I'm not sure that I like love them with this top, but it's definitely long sleeve and shorts kind of weather out right now. It's like really, really beautiful. So, oh well. And then my green button up is from Princess Polly as well. My necklaces are from Ana Luisa. I need to put earrings on. And then I've got on my Dolce Vita Zena sneakers. You guys know I love these. They're super comfortable. And then I'm going to bring my little white purse, I think, so that I can bring the white back out. And then hopefully when I'm downtown, I will snap a cute little photo little downtown moment they have new outdoor seating over here just a couple of tables but i'm sitting waiting for annie and emma to get here i luckily lucked out with a good parking spot look who it oh my was, God. That was, uh, that was so horrible. <laughs> guys emma's here and she hasn't been in a video in like over a year so you better appreciate it you saw annie hey. a couple weeks ago it's really sunny so you can't see me but i strictly brought the vlog camera to tell you that i got the number 37 the caprese panini here is so good thank me later i would give my sandwich an eight today um it wasn't as flavorful as it usually is like they usually with the caprese they put this like really yummy like oil on it but it was definitely lacking a little bit today but no biggie anyways if you guys remember on monday i went and picked up all those clothes from target and I am going to be shooting those today. I'm gonna to shoot the five Target outfits, one Princess Polly outfit, and one Tanger photo, and that will get me through a majority of the content that I need photographed for next week. So I'm gonna start trying on all these pieces and trying to find accessories and shoes that go with each outfit. Um, and I'm gonna pack these up into my 100 duffel bag. I honestly like haven't been like shooting downtown really. Um, since getting back to school. I've done a couple of photo shoots, but nothing super official. I haven't even broken my camera out for anything, which is really weird for me because you guys know that I used to like eat, sleep, breathe my DSLR. I don't even think I'm gonna bring it out today. I think I'll probably take most of these on my phone. I don't know, like I might try to bring it, but we'll see. Listening to music while I outfit played, and this is my favorite song right now, Traveling Man by Zach Bryan. Um, anyways, here is outfit one, just cute little basic top and jeans. All right, outfit number two. Outfit number three. Okay, outfit number four is gonna be with this belt. I'm just holding it together right now because I'm lazy. 
So about a week ago, I had a pretty big package from Express come full of jeans because so many of you guys were asking for me to share my favorite denim. So I wanted to pick up a few new pairs and review them all for you. So I just went ahead and filmed a little Instagram try on. I haven't set this live yet, but I did share five different pairs of jeans and then a few business casual basics from their Express Body Contour line. I absolutely love the body contour tops and I'm super excited to share these. So um, that stuff will be up pretty soon um, by the time you guys are watching that this video I should have all of that saved to my express highlight on um, my Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do that style by McKenns um, I got a bunch of cute new cropped flare jeans I got a pair of skinny jeans and then like I said I did pick up a bunch of their basics for the body contour line that I rave about all the time and this time around they're all bodysuits. I think the next time that I buy pieces from Express, I'm gonna do like a big business casual set because like I said, I've been getting lots and lots of requests for that kind of stuff. So I figured that might be beneficial for a lot of you guys, but um, yeah, if you want links to all that stuff, make sure you go check them out. Hey besties. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, well, let me just tell you, before you turn this camera on, I just asked it, do you happen to have a napkin so I could blow my nose? Um, no, sorry, you can just sniffle. <laughs> okay. But I really Mom of the year, <laughs> this is who she is. I really didn't have anything else. Like, I really didn't. Um, okay, Logan and I just made, like, world's best time, I think, like, I've ever made in my life taking pictures. It's 4.55. I probably, we probably parked at 4.10. If that, and you had a change. And we just shot seven outfits very successfully downtown. And what I really like is that today we went at four o'clock and I never go at four o'clock. Um, which means that like photo locations I don't usually get to go to were like fully shaded today. So I got to really switch it up. We took some by Franklin's, <laughs> Square Deli, which is where I ate lunch. And then we kind of just worked our way around there. This is like where Water Street and all of the Kent bars are. It worked um, out perfect. Though. And we did a bunch of different outfits. Like I said, I did the five for Target. I took something. This is literally the guy's pizza entrance. <laughs> um, but it looks really cute there. And then we took the last two over by the fashion school just because they were a little bit dressier. I had a black dress and then the little dress that I have on right now, that cute little zebra one. The side of the fashion school is shaded like almost all day from like noon to literally sundown. So if you ever are needing good pictures, that's where I recommend, so. Thank you, Lo. High five. Good work. All right, we're headed home to eat dinner. We're trying cheeseburgers again today. Round two. Hopefully they're better today because they're gonna be good. The last time was that. Yeah, but Logan's a liar. She'll just no, say you're it's hard on your, if it's not. You're hard on yours. Um, the last they showed was us eating our cheeseburgers. And <laughs> hours ago. That was hours ago. It's 11 o'clock. We went to Manch, like, preference round rehearsal for three hours. And then we came back here and we're maybe spontaneously taking a trip to. We are taking a trip. To, what is it, Sarasota? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Doesn't know where we're going. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Don't like, know wouldn't it be fun just to, like, leave, like, a Wednesday to Friday? And that's the beauty of online school. When are we ever going to be 20? <laughs> Just hype up the comments and, and tell her that she needs to come with me. Comment Please. a city Comment a city that you think is worthwhile. Where would for, you like, want to see us go? Right. With. A fun weekend trip that we could do a travel and outfit guide with. And a, like, like a little duo vlog. I'll do my best to give you some cool outfits. Like, lo like comment below because like we're interested in Texas too. We're thinking more Florida because... We could get a tan and like be at the beach, but like also visit new places. She's never been to Fort And Myers. also more of a direct flight would be nice. But like, let us know. <laughs> Cause like, like I, Logan's a yes man. Like if I asked her to do it, <laughs> if I said, let's go tomorrow, she would probably come. I'll figure it out. All right. Okay. We'll see you guys in the morning at prep round. Bye. Good night. Ready, feeling kind of pretty, can't lie. Here is my little outfit of the day check. Let's see. Can you see, can you see me? All right, today's little ivory dress is from Shein. Super cute, it's got a little cinch along the side and a super high slit. Um, my heels are from Target, just my everyday nude ones. For jewelry, I've got on my usual Ana Luisa stuff. Um, this cuff is from Mantra Band. I've got on my pronoun pin, my alpha fee pin, um, and then my earrings today are from Express. I love these earrings. I very rarely get to pull them out, but I love them, so. Cheers, AOE, let's head to the house. 
Um, here we are. Good morning, Seb. <laughs> um, no one's really here yet because I was worried about being late and no one else is here yet. So, um, we're starting to take pictures. Enough, there's no one here, so we can take solos. Good morning, Lauren. Hi. Where's your dress from? Tell us. Uh, Windsor. Windsor. Uh, who's behind me? Logan. Logan. She's a nasty gal. Really? It Love is it. dollars Kaylin? Yeah. Um, ASOS. Really? I like this one. So so dress. <laughs> ah. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. Allie, what are you most excited for for preference round? Um, to find another mini Mackenzie. <laughs> what are you most excited for, Logan? To see all the pretty girls sing. <laughs> Lauren, what are you most excited for? Um, I don't even know. I'm so excited to meet all the new girls. Ah. So so. I am excited to find my potential a little. Woo! All right, we just practiced. We are getting ready to go. Last recruitment ever, done check. It's over, Scotty. It's over. Um, so, so, show us the flowers. People's parents were able to buy them flowers and my parents did not, but they're really pretty. Love my parents. All right, AOE forever, last recruitment. Um, we have to help tear down Pref and set up for bid day, so that'll be exciting. I can't show you that in this vlog because this vlog is going to go up before bid day, so um, sorry, you'll have to tune back in tomorrow. This tear down begins. Here's our advisor, Just Ryan, getting your photo taken right in front of our cute little center. Hi, guys. All right, just walked in the door. It is somehow already 4.15. We got out a lot later than we thought we were going to, but... No worries, I am actually planning on curling up in bed and starting to work on that blog post and YouTube video I was talking about this morning. Not gonna have too, too much time to get to it all today, but I wanna knock out as much as possible. So, probably won't be hearing much from me from the rest of the afternoon either, since I do just need to kind of sit and grind. If I'm being honest, my attention span just is not very high right now, so I did the easier of the two tasks, which was editing this video. I'm through Wednesday. Wednesday, so I still have Thursday Friday slash part of today to edit but I'm about 43 minutes in which feels like good progress but it's 6 30 now and Logan and a couple of her roommates um, Kara and Kaylin are coming over to eat dinner they're in a lot of my videos honestly like they're not even my littles roommates anymore they're just like my friends um, but we are making shrimp tacos tonight because I have all the stuff. I've only had them once this school year, so I've had the shrimp marinating. I'll leave the recipe for this down below. I make them all the time. Basically, you just need olive oil, garlic, cumin, and ch um, chili powder on the shrimp, a little bit of lime, and I am about to get a pot, and we're going to heat up some water, boil some water, um, because I also am going to make a couple of pots. A couple of pots. I cannot speak. Like, Can you tell that? I'm just exhausted. A couple of cups of rice. And yeah. Gonna cut a mango and do the whole thing. You know the drill, guys. Yeah. To fill it, which was how much to fill it? I have no like idea. 50. Okay, shrimpies are cooked. I put cilantro, lime, and a little bit of cheese in the rice. I made black beans today because I felt like I wasn't really full the last time I ate shrimp tacos. So, um, low cut up an avocado for us, cut up the mango, and then this is a little cilantro lime stuff from the other day that I like to put on this too. Okay. Oh, Cheers. It's like you got games. You got games on the phone. Hey. Welcome to Style By. Welcome to Style By. The yellow Hello. jelly bean just sitting on the couch. Let's right rate Mackenzie's apartment let's items. Let's rate Mackenzie's outfit. No, I'm Yeah, let's rate Mackenzie's the outfit. Camera. Show the real style. Mackenzie by. likes yeah. me. Okay, this is the Ready? real styled by in real life. Ready? What do we have on this top? <laughs> this will be my 80 kings of heart. Wait, here. it's not focused. Extra, extra what large the, the comfortable oversized fit that's in right now, streetwear look. Where are these from? Wait, it's not even focused. How do I focus it? Tap the screen. Oh, there we go. Close up. And this is uh, styled by in real life. Literally looks like garbage can. What are you wearing, Sarah? She looked like. This a feet, sweatpants, a down angle shoes, socks that used to be white and are now gray. Casual wear. <laughs> okay, wait, fit check, everybody. Oh, shit. 
Logan is in. Um, He's been thrifted from someone's high school. <laughs> Where are your uh, shoes from? Ugh. These are actually cares. Um, this V-neck right now is from Target, the Wild and something brand. Wild Fable. Wild Fable. This is from Abercrombie. Hi. Bitch, <laughs> 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 go. This is from Airy. Airy and Amazon. You love Airy. I also want shoes. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs out. Okay, this. Fit check for me. Hang on, let me set you up. Cause Wait, like, no, I want to do it. <laughs> I'm such a selfish bitch. Hey, okay, fit check for care. Sorry, such a selfish bitch. Okay, fit check for me. This is a free shirt that I got at the football <laughs> stadium. These sweatpants are from Facebook. They're Alpha Fi, I don't know what like, the brand. <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Really <laughs> Facebook <laughs> shoes? Nothing. Oh, but actually, you, no. We're showing you our little feeties. Dairy Queen, first one of the semester. Mini babies. That's honestly good for me. Like, I was like at the end of second semester, like in a phase where I was going, like. We go all the time. Yeah. Really? Every few days. You always be like, Lauren, do you want to go to Dairy Queen? I got it. Why not? I told them to surprise me and they gave me the new Oreo one. It's yeah, pretty good. Gift card or something? Laying in my towel right now because I'm about to hop in the shower. Desperately need to wash my hair so that I can crimp it tomorrow and have a kick ass bid day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Next week's gonna be so crazy busy. We have homecoming, Lauren's bar crawl, it's Logan, my little's birthday. We're gonna head to the pumpkin patch. Just so much excitement next week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and stick around. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you then. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh, and make sure to tune back in tomorrow for a bid day vlog.